Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I wanted to share how quickly and easily you can texture an object using the Toon Studio pack. So let's recreate this amazing animation. And by the way, all of this was made by my friend Theodore Daly, and I'm gonna put a link to his social media below, so make sure to check him out. So this scene is called Gaze, and it's basically just four or five shaders from our Toon Shader pack. I'm gonna walk you through how this was all set up. So essentially, if I was to turn on just the dome light and turn off everything else, you can see how this scene is set up. And then all we do is go to the asset browser to the tune shaders. We're gonna take the graphic novel one sketch lines, and then we also go and grab the manga one and manga twos, and we'll drag those in. And then also, if you go to the tune and advanced, you can grab the anime universal. And finally, there's also a skin light advanced. So I'll bring that in. So you can see all the textures here. Now, if we turn off clay rendering and we just look at some of the lighting, there is a dome light, which is pink. And in the details, it does not affect tune. So if I turn those on, you'd see it change immediately. So I'm not lighting with these two. That's just for the color of the background. And then I have a key light, which is set to 2.5. And this is just an infinite light. So you can see that this key light is just angled like so. All right, so if I rotate this, you can kind of see what's happening. And then I also have a hair key light, which is including just the hair itself. So when I turn that on, you'll get some light from this angle for her hair. So it's really just two lights and then that dome light. And when it comes to the shaders themselves, there are a lot of pieces to this model, but really all I've been doing is mixing and matching from these three textures that I picked. And once I go into each of these elements, you can apply them to large areas of the model. So for instance, Mangle 1, I just opened this up and you can see it's just the shader. We haven't changed anything. All we did was go to the scene object scale and we changed that from one. So you can see these areas. If you change it to five, you could change it to 50 and it gets really small. You could change it to two, it gets bigger. So just play around with that until you like the result. And then when it comes to Manga 2, it's the same idea. I set it to eight and it'll be some areas in here that will update and change. And then for the hair, it is the graphic novel sketch. And again, everything's standard. Nothing's been changed here except the scene object scale. That's it, just kind of play around with the different settings and see what works. It could be whatever you want. And if you wanna change the scale, but the dirt flex are too big, you actually have the ability to go in and make the dirt flex small as well. So you really do have a lot of interesting mixes and you can have full control over everything. Everything's quite procedural. And then for the cables, to get that comic look, we just have the Manga 2 texture, which we put on the cables, and we tweak the size a little bit. And then just to add a few final details, we did paint on a few masks to get some blush on her and her lips. And then we also built an eye shader in Photoshop to get different anime eye styles. And then we combined those with the anime advanced skin material. So there was a little bit of custom work on her eyes to make them perfect. And that's about all there is to it to create this render. It's basically just three or four tune shaders, not too much work at all. It's really just playing with the scale of them and then you're off to the races. All right, you can grab this pack of 100 professional tune shaders now. I'll put the link in the description. All right, enjoy, cheers.